Alright guys, MVS Customs here. Today I'm going to show you a uh, software that we highly recommend, uh, TouchScan. It's an OBD2 software and it works great on our uh, Holden Commodores, uh, that being any LS1 Commodore or VZ and VEs. It will most likely work on VS, although I'm yet to test that on there. Uh, but I'll just show you quickly uh, how to set up, how easy it is. It's very user friendly. So you just do, do for so for your Elm 327 cable, I uh, used uh, change it to USB Bluetooth or RS-232, in our case it's going to be a USB. You select your COM port, you don't have to, you can just do everything as automatic. Uh, have OBD2 protocols automatic and just click auto detect. This this will actually find the cable. So auto detect. Oh, found it on COM3, that's correct, that's where my Elm 327 is. So now you can click OK or connect, either one will connect to the vehicle. Press OK, press connect. So now this is going to search for the ECU. All right, it's found on VPW. VPW is what LS1 vehicles use, and that's what I currently have. I have a LS1 ECU on the bench, and uh, that's what I'm going to be showing for this uh, this tutorial. So you can quickly and easily use this to uh, check values and parameters. Uh, this is just how you just set up the different PIDs that will pop up, the different parameters you can choose, and how uh, how often they'll they'll show up. I will go to some diagnostics. So I should have no peer, uh, no uh, trouble codes stored because I've cleared them recently, so it should be nothing. But even if you did, you can easily click clear trouble codes and it will remove them. Uh, or turn over, you can have a look at some PID values, get a whole heap of values you can read. So your mass airflow rate, vehicle speed, calculated load, uh, fuel trim, all sorts of bits and pieces quick way of diagnosing it's good for when you're running the car and you want to try and see something that's going going off so you can see your mean min mean and max values uh, as you can see my values are quite uh, all over the joint but that's simply because it's on the bench setup so the ECU is not actually getting any inputs and that's why we're seeing these sort of values but either way it's it gives you great information and what's why I recommend this is because it actually works out of all the free software out there and even paid software, a lot of them don't actually support uh, Holden's, um, but this software actually does, and it's showing some information, and it is actually working. Uh, we've gone through almost every single software you could possibly find, and it's either only the really expensive software can sometimes work if you if you choose a certain car, um, but this just goes straight into it and starts working, which is fantastic. Uh, we have developed our own software to to read some manufacturer specific codes as you can see here SAE means it's that's non manufacturer specific that's just generic although it's generic you still get a fair bit of information but I'll discuss later about our software our software on Elm Street and I'll just I'll explain how that works and I'll even show a tutorial of it so what else can we see in here you have our console something else uh, this shows the raw communication. This is VPW, uh, communication protocol. You can see priority byte, uh, sender and header, uh, sender and receiver headers, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, going to monitors, uh, this can show us you know, the VIN number, uh, calibration IDs, and a whole bunch of other little IDs and stuff. Um, what else have we got? Onboard monitoring, showing manufacturer defined. Components and that they're all passing. Um, you can also purchase manufacturer specific PID from the developer of TouchScan. This allows you to bring up a whole heap more information. Um, really, it's only useful if you want advanced uh, readings and things. If you if you if you're going to be doing it very often, or you need to look for something like a barometric pressure and things like that. But generally, these basic settings are all that you need to get get up and running and diagnosing your car but as you can see it's already uh, full of uh, bits and pieces finding your bank one sensors for oxygen sensors and and showing you what's uh, what's available and what's not so oxygen sensors are available in this case catalyst it can't see I also got the dashboard for a quick and easy sort of graphic view of looking at your uh, speed and RPMs and even your instantaneous uh, fuel usage uh, but that that's about it uh, Hopefully uh, this will save you some trouble of finding software that actually works with your Holden. Uh, we're happy to answer any questions you have below. Uh, feel free to send an email uh, or comment. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks guys.